Peace, brothers and sisters who have arrived here on this channel. We just had a massive confirmation for Purin in the skies that most watchmen missed because they are watching the wrong calendar. The calendar that the Jews are watching that is one month ahead of the true calendar. Because of that, most watchmen missed an amazing confirmation for Purin in the skies and i'm going to show you guys here right now this is just a quick video for you guys to see how awesome we are seeing the confirmations for appearing this year so if you haven't watched my previous video the one here in english church the last days are evident everything is matching up confirmed the un seven years pact if you haven't watched this video yet, watch it because there are over 15 confirmations for appearing of this year. Everything fits perfectly and if you haven't watched it yet, I suggest you to watch because otherwise you will miss key informations that are very important for you to understand this video. But I have been showing you guys this video here, the following timeline which shows here the amazing confirmations and let that is leading up to Purim, my highest watch time since December that I've been posting this timeline here. So there are many confirmations for it and people discovered here an amazing confirmation in the skies. So I have to give the credit to brother Steve Fasher here who found the video of another brother who discovered this information but they missed the importance of this. They were watching one day when it's actually more than that because they are in the wrong calendar. So let me show you here Stellarium to show how awesome this is. So there is an asteroid called Aster and this asteroid called Aster is precisely on the head of the constellation of Virgo right now. So it started here on this uh, January 11 and most watchmen there and Steve Fletcher indeed he was talking about the watch date for January 11 because this asteroid called Aster is on the head of Virgo however we can clearly perceive that this asteroid gets even closer to the head of Virgo on, starting on January 11 here so you can see here as the days go by this asteroid gets closer and closer and leaves the head of Virgo about around February the 10th. So from January 11 until February the 10th, that's when this asteroid called Aster is on the head of the Virgo. So we can see that Aster is being crowned here in the constellation of Virgo. And this is very, very important because if we go to the book of Aster, we can see that Esther here was taken to the King Xerxes in the royal residence in the 10th month, the month of Teveth. And he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. So Esther was made queen in the 10th month, the month of Teveth. The Jews currently, exactly on January 11, changed from the 10th month to the 11th month, the month of Shavat. And that's when uh, Steve Fletcher and most watchmen were expecting the rapture here because it is the change of the month. However, they are following the Jewish calendar, which is one month ahead, precisely one month ahead. That means that exactly on January 11, that's when the true month of Tevet, the 10th month, was... Uh, starting, so we are seeing here that exactly on the 10th month and through the 10th month, Esther is being crowned here in the constellation of Virgo. So the asteroid Esther is being crowned here in the correct 10th month in the constellation of Virgo. And this is a massive confirmation for us for the Feast of Purim to be our deliverance. So this information here is so massive that we cannot even comprehend how this came to be uh, exactly like this 
an asteroid called Aster being exactly here, exactly on the 10th month, the true 10th month, on the constellation of Virgo, exactly on her head, crowning her as the Queen Aster. So this is a massive confirmation for us on Peering. And unfortunately, most Watchmen will only perceive this when Peering arrives, because we know that the Jews will add a 13th month so Purim will be correct by the Jews and uh, correct to the correct calendar on Purim. So Steve Fletcher and most Washington will only perceive this when Purim arrives. So it is a synchronization plus a confirmation for us that this is massive. So exactly through the 10th month, Esther is being crowned here. And this is massive for us. From January 11 precisely here, it's getting closer to her head. But it gets even closer here through the 10th month and leaves by February the 10th. And that's the correct month of Shabbat, the month 11 here, which will be in February here, the 10th precisely here. The 10th, it changes the month. For the Jews, it will be first Adar, but correctly, it will be the first month, the first day of the 11th month, the month of Shabbat. So, most watchmen miss this because they are following Jewish calendar and not the correct calendar. And they will only be right when the Jews correct their calendar. And I went one step ahead here and I found out that the number 622 for the asteroid, what does it mean on strong concordance? And on strong concordance, it means ASAP. So as soon as possible to gather, to remove, so to assemble to be assembled so the wise virgins will be assembled before the king is exactly here on peering and we are seeing here the asteroid with many confirmations precisely on the head of the virgin on the correct 10th month through the 10th month which is a massive confirmation for us here massive massive i hope that this has given you even more hope to the 10th month because this information here is simply amazing simply amazing we are seeing here that exactly on january uh, aster was crowned it's being crowned by the ast aster uh, asteroid on the constellation of virgo so we can have an even more possibility here to expect a puring rapture of the church a deliverance here for many reasons that i gave you guys on my previous video which is this one so really really strong really high possibility for us most watching missed but we are strong here on the correct calendar perceiving this and this is even stronger for us so the skies are telling us that aster is being crowned so peering must happen the deliverance so stay in high alert for peering because we are approaching very fast this high possibility and even the skies now are telling us that we might just leave at that moment this is just a quick video that I'm making for you guys and I hope that this has blessed you and I hope to be with you very soon in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when he calls us to the kingdom. Amen. Maranatha. I hope to see all you guys there very, very soon. Maranatha.